Hello again and welcome to another episode of Math Made Easy. In this episode, uh, we're going to be looking at fractions and different kinds of fractions and seeing how different sized parts make up the whole. Parts of a whole come in different sizes based on how many cuts are made to the whole. For this example, we're going to be using one of my favorite desserts in the entire world, which is Dutch apple pie. Now, normally, I could easily eat this whole apple pie in one sitting with some milk and be perfectly content. Well, at least until I got sick. But a whole really isn't a fraction because we haven't made any cuts in it. In order to show how different parts of a whole come in different sizes, I'm going to make some different cuts in here so that you can see the different size pieces that are created when we make those different cuts. All right, for our first cut, let's just cut this pie once. All right, I've now taken this pie, which was one whole, or one over one, and I've changed it. I've now made it into a fraction. I now have two parts that, when put together, make a whole, or two over two. So, no longer one over one. Now, if I was talking about just one of these parts, I could say that I, I am going to eat one out of the two parts, or half of the pie. Now, if I ate a slice that big, that's pretty big, and one half is a pretty big fraction. Let's look at a different fraction and see how its size makes, uh, makes, is different from one half. All right, now I cut my pie one more time, so I've made a total of one, two cuts. Well, now my whole pie is represented by one, two, three, four pieces, so my whole equals four out of four, or four-fourths. Now, if I were going to just eat one of these slices, I would be eating one-fourth of the pie. Now, is one-fourth greater than or less than one-half? Well, one-half of the pie is this entire section right here. One-fourth of the pie is just this section right here. So you can easily see that in this particular fraction, this part is smaller than this part of the whole. So one-fourth is a smaller fraction than one-half. Now if I make one more cut, I end up with some pieces that are larger than other pieces. Over here I have a piece that is one-fourth, and over here I have a piece that looks like it's about half of that one-fourth. When I'm doing fractions, all my parts of the whole have to be equal sizes, so on this particular cut, I'm going to have to cut twice to get the fractions I'm looking for. All right, now you can see my cut's not perfect, just like in real life, most of the time when you're cutting a pie, you don't cut it perfectly, but you can see that basically my slices of pie are pretty close to being the same size. Now, how many slices do I have? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my new hole is now eight over eight, or eight eighths. That means one of these slices is equal to one-eighth. Well, is one-eighth bigger or smaller than one-fourth? Well, once again, this one, this one slice here is one-eighth. But if we join this one-eighth slice plus this other one-eighth slice, we create one-fourth. So one-eighth is smaller than one-fourth. How does one-eighth compare to, say, one-half? Well, one-eighth is just this little section here, and one-half 
is this entire section here. So one eighth is basically one out of one, two, three, four of the half. It's actually one fourth of a half. Kind of cool how they, they work together like that, huh? All right, we're going to make a few more cuts, uh, and that'll be the last one.